Well, finally, today is turkey processing day. Um, I've been trying to find a, the right date that I felt good enough to do this and not make too much work for myself. Um, one of my biggest problems is that I bought a sailboat. <laughs> and why is that a problem? Well, here, look. This is my usual turkey processing station with my sink and my quenching pot underneath and my meat band saw and my chicken plucker and I can't get to it. Um, I've been putting this off because I was like, well, I just need to find a place in the shop for all this stuff because I don't want to get, you know, processing goo on my sailing gear. So I've been putting this off because that's kind of more work than I really want to do right now. Um, so I'm going to do an abridged version, <laughs> which means I'm going to um, not pluck the bird. Um, turkeys, I always hand pluck when I sell a whole bird to somebody because their skin is so thin, it tears easily. And if you want that beautiful baked whole bird in the oven, you have to hand pluck them. <clears throat> and, uh, so I'm not going to do that. Um, this bird's going to get cut up into smaller bits, and um, so we don't really need that anyway. So I'm just going to skin this bird because <laughs> it's going to be easier. And today I have everything set up here. Um, this is one of my favorite things for processing turkeys. It's a just a mesh bag with a drawstring, and I've cut off the end here, which I put their head through, and then it. Basically, it swaddles the bird, and then I can pull the drawstring together and tie their legs together. And you need to do that because they can kick you in the face and really gouge your skin. Um, they're a big bird. They can be really dangerous. And I found that the swaddling, um, holding them with that tension, tends to calm them. And I like that a lot. I, I don't want my birds to be stressed at all, ever. I want them to have all good days up until they have you know the very end so this is another one of my favorite cheats is to put a new blade on with a plastic bag over my recip saw and um, instead of using my band saw to split the carcass this works just fine uh, for cutting up birds and of course uh, I'm going to do something different with this one I usually cut them up and bag them right away and put them in my brine solution with uh, rosemary and sage. Um, I think that's maybe interrupting some of my um, curing that goes on. Um, and because she's a little bit older bird, I'm thinking that I'm just going to put her hole in a bag in the refrigerator for a couple days. And then I can take um, that into the kitchen where it's nice and warm. <laughs> It's not exactly warm out right now. And then um, get her finally bagged and put her in the, my brine solution with um, sea salt and apple cider vinegar and um, um, get her packaged up for the freezer. So bagging in the house. Um, I've got cords that I can hang her up. Got me a little rope right here so I can work on her. And... Um, one of the things I like to do with the birds is feed them apples uh, before processing because it helps to clear out their systems and uh, of course she's on some clover which is really good for clearing their system too. Um, she won't be here very long, maybe an hour. And then I'll bring her up onto this deck area here and let her continue to poop for a while. I will clear her gut for about an hour and then uh, then it's time to go to freezer camp and I know a lot of people are sad at this moment but the same people who are not sad when they eat turkey for Thanksgiving or eat a turkey burger year-round kind of thing they're also not sad when they pull up their tomato plants at the end of the season and um, I guess I look at these birds as an annual in that same way that they're grown for this purpose and, um, you know, me, a farm girl, I don't really worry too much about this. 
my birds live a very good life while they're here and they only have like one bad moment so I try to take care of them make them as ethical as possible so if you if you don't want to eat meat cool but if you eat meat growing your own birds something I recommend um, it's a good experience and you get good quality food so today is go to freezer camp day and um, plus you know it's winter time and turkeys don't do well in the cold um, they're a warm weather bird and it's a lot of stress on them in the winter so um, at the end of the day it's more humane to process her and try and not carry these birds over winter in the northwest um, but she's been a good girl um, she's grown all she's gonna grow and it's time for her to move on so this is kind of my basic process I like to clean them up their guts with uh, some clover and apples I did feed her apples last night for dinner as well and I think it tends to add um, it's their cleansing number one is it helps to detoxify the body and they love it as a treat but um, the the greens and the apples will really purify the insides of them so um, it's kind of part of my whole process of being a poultry snob that it kind of starts in some of these um, little individual things that I like to do for the birds but yep so that's what we're doing today is uh, finally going to send her to freezer camp I got her in March so she's definitely pretty old for a turkey um, in terms of meat birds but um, you know it's okay that's why she's here, and she's had a great life while she's been here. Oh, huh, Rossoloni. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to show the processing uh, part of it. I just wanted to kind of explain, like, the getting prepared to process a bird and things that I do. I think the greens and the apples are an essential part of that at the end of the day. And... Um, it just gets you a, a good, clean finish and a, the best quality meat product. And of course, some of this is going to go to my amazing natural path, Dr. Val. So she's bailed me out and saved my life a number of times. Um, I don't have a lot of money, but I can do little things like this. And um, I have her order as to how she wants hers bagged and processed. And that's the neat thing about growing your own meat is you can bag and process any way you want. So, and, you know, do something nice for your doc. All right, guys, I'm Dive Grill Deb. See you guys later. I have to admit, I'm always relieved when turkeys go to freezer camp because it means the end of the season and I don't have to worry about them anymore. So, um, they're just so much easier to keep in the freezer at the end of the day. But they are a lot of fun. And um, it's it's very rewarding to grow your own poultry in your backyard so i hope other people will either continue this in their own homes or give it a try it's not hard there's lots of information out there how to do this and um you know growing your own poultry is something that is really rewarding it's good for your garden all the waste and you have good feed um, to feed yourself all winter so I'm Dive Grill Deb, signing out. Um, today is, we're going to send the turkey to freezer camp day. Bye everybody. Love you.